Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time because it's Friday. And it is time for another edition of Friday's Finds. This is going to be the haphazard edition of Friday's Finds because things have just kind of shown up in a haphazard fashion. We're going to start off small and mighty. Vic Topper, a returning sponsor for the Friday's Fine Show, the Vic Topper. They have sent us a floodlight headlamp. This shows a guy jogging. I don't know if I can use it then. We're going we're gonna to open a box and take a look. It comes with the charging cable. There's always a handy thing to have. We have instruction manual. I definitely would need to put on my spectacles to be able to read that. It's so small. Oh, that's not what I was. Oh, now that's cool. That's very interesting. So there's actually a spotlight and then two different floodlights. It is rechargeable. Ah. Wow. So we have battery meter there, we're at three bars, we can charge it with the micro USB here, it appears to be water resistant, we have a couple of little lights here, I'm not exactly sure what they're, what they're for, because they don't come on. Maybe I need to read that little bitty instruction manual. So I'll read the instructions, and then after dark, we'll see how this works. So time to move on to the next one. The next sponsor for this edition of Friday's Finds has sent us a drink cup base. Now, if you spend any time driving... And, and you like to drink out of big containers, you'll find that it's kind of difficult to get the big container in the little cup holder. And this cup holder expandable unit, as you can see, we've got big, big bottles, french fries, or McNuggets or something, and a cup of coffee. I really like that. So let's take a look. Not sure what those are. So we have a uh, very, very easy to decipher. No magnifying glass required. You don't even know, have to know how to read. And then we have these three doohickeys. Don't know what the doohickeys do. How do we open it? There again, am I, am I gonna have to go out and read the instruction manual? So 
so it gets bigger. So please remove remove the protective film. That's very interesting. Very handy dandy. And once it's locked into place, it's really hard to get apart. <clears throat> now we just need to take it out to the pickup and take a look at it while it's in position. We'll continue unboxing and we will revisit that shortly. Or next, the next sponsor of this edition of Friday's Finds, the five products. Once again, we have a returning sponsor. Remember the Levin headset? They sent us another one. Ooh, that, that's pretty. Check it out. It comes with a very extensive owner's manual. We'll have to break out the magnifying glass to read. Charge cable. Unfortunately, I'm about to be doing some, I'm about to travel. So I'll have an opportunity to give this a, a try. Of course, it's, it's not conducive to the ball cap. There we go. Now it looks like a trucker or an operator. One of the two. But I'll get it paired up with the phone and <clears throat> we'll do some road test on it. Thank you, Levin, for sponsoring this edition of Friday's Finds. All right, moving right along in the unboxing phase. This is heavy. It's a new sponsor. And I don't know the name of this sponsor. But as with all, as with every, as with all Friday's Finds videos, there'll be a, a link in the description below. There'll be a description There'll be a link in the cards and in the description so you can see these products. They'll all be added to the Friday's Finds shopping list on the Amazon Influencer page. And that link will take you there. All right, let's take a look at this one. This one's heavy. This was sent to us by Octomo. Thank you for sponsoring this edition. Octomo. Are you ready for the big reveal? Voila! <laughs> Not much reveal there. Hold on. Gotta keep my stuff from blowing away. Soft bag. It contains a locking pin. Can, can you see? Can you see what we're getting at here? And there is another. Pin. Oh, look at that. Octomo. Just stepping up the game. So that's a two inch. And that's a two and a quarter inch <clears throat> adjustable ball. So no matter how tall your truck is or sh how short your trailer is, you have a ball to haul. <clears throat> you have two locking pins. These are anti-rattle locking pins. And we have barrel lock key. They are not. They are not keyed the same. Oh. So 
that's that's the where that's supposed to go. Put two on there. And then this one goes on here. Okay. So we have two links. Two different link link pins. Now we are ready to put that on the back of the truck and have a look. We'll head out to the truck momentarily and we'll we'll try that on. Last but not least, since this is the Dude RV show, you need to have tables that travel easily. And Mr. Ironstone has has asked us to show you their outdoor folding table. It's 47 by 22. And that's almost the perfect size for the RV. interesting instead of the instead of telescoping legs I really like the substructure oh there's even a handle that's handy dandy. Now, there's no lock on the middle. You can see, so you got to be careful when you're setting it up. How about that? Let's fold her back up. I like it. I like that a lot. And I know you will too, especially if you're doing any camping. Because that, that's a perfect size to fit just about any compartment. All right, we need to head around to the pickup and look at a cup holder in place and that bad boy, the adjustable hitch. I'll see you at the truck. 
the problem it doesn't fit and it, may, it makes a mess the solution Now the, I didn't bring the shims out here, but that's what those plas three plastic devices are. They go in there to keep that stable. That's pretty handy. Handy dandy. Ah, I missed a part. So you can expand those there we go now we're stable check that out right there that's so cool now that my friends is a good value that's a winner winner right there all right, let's move around to the rear of the truck. My trailer hitch is not very pretty. We need to, we need to change that. We need to rectify that situation. And put it a little closer, I think would be better. There it is, and that's pretty. And best of all, you can adjust it. Now, if this, if your trailer's way up here, you can flip this over, so let's just do it. Instead of talking about it, let's just flip it over. So you can make it even higher. You can actually make it as high as the, if it was a bumper hitch. Yeah. That's a heck of a deal right there. All right, now we need to do a road test on the microphone and a dark test on a, a headlight. So stay tuned, more to come. So I'm actually camping and I'm using this little headlight and, and I'm really, uh, th this thing is incredible. That, that's full blast right there. I can see all of my firewood. There you go. That's more light than you will ever need right there. <laughs> I know you can't see me, but you gotta get one of these lights. They're really good. All right, let's, let's go talk about a headset. So it sounds pretty clear. Yeah, I just, I wish you could have figured out how to, how to get this recorded. That's, that's all right. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm headed into town. Oh, absolutely. I'll pick you up some eggs while I'm in town. All right, bye. We have reached the end of this edition of Friday's Finds. I've traveled far and wide to test out these products. The Victopi headlamp, I, I actually, I had to break that out and use it. <laughs> I was I was on my land. I had had a gentleman moving earth on my land and I was actually in the living in the tent. 
this was invaluable super bright i i have yet to charge it so the the battery lasts a, a very long time i think it's a great value and fix want fix want me fix want me not sure how to pronounce that this headphone it's a good piece of this is a great piece of equipment had multiple conversations as i was driving uh, the several hours it took to get down to our land no one complained they couldn't hear any background noise from the from the drive in the truck and i could hear perfectly clear that rhymed but i could hear really well even with my hearing aids i didn't have to take them off i think these are these items are really great values and you can find them of course on amazon there's a link in the card above and in the description below. Those links will take you to the Friday's Finds shopping list on the Dude RV's gear recommendation Amazon page. Your business is most appreciated. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. That's why I get to do what I do. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. That's why I get to do what I do. I, sure, I certainly appreciate you bringing me into your life. And for my patrons, I am most grateful. You guys rock. All right. Y'all come back now, you hear?